Hello guys! Today I wanted to show you how to set up an AI automated Tumblr blog and luckily it's just as easy as the rest of them. I have no experience with Tumblr so I had to kind of poke around for a few days and figure out what was going on. Let's take a dive in, log into your Make account. If you don't already have an account, thank you for using my link down below. And once we get signed in, I'm going to go over to my auto blogger scenarios, select the scenario that I want, which is the Tumblr scenario. Boom, AI autoblogger templates, and there is Tumblr. And as you can see, it's every bit as simple as the Shopify blog. There's only one module needed instead of multiple modules, and it's kind of the same idea. I set up my title, come up with a witty article about anything written in the style of a lewd, crude, street slang dude. I don't know, that's stupid, just something I wanted to test out. Then we've got our image generator, same as all the others. If you haven't seen those videos, check it out. Then we have our, wait, before I move on, then we've got our image generator, same as all the others. Uh, with one exception, this one actually, I want to return a URL as the response format. So in some of the other bloggers, I've had to return a file. This one, we're going back to URL like we normally use. And then create the blog post, same thing. If you haven't seen how to set that up, watch some of my previous videos where I walk through that in more detail. Let's cut straight to the Tumblr module. So I created an account on Tumblr. I connected it. I have my CW Morton blog because once you, you know, create a blog on Tumblr, I guess you have to select it. Then this is a little bit unfamiliar to me. So I guess on Tumblr, you have to create a type of post. It's not like a hybrid. Most of these are kind of assumed that you might have images and text all together. And so it's just one field. Here we have to select text, quote, chat, link, photo. So that's, that's something that's unique to Tumblr. And I haven't really played with this to test it out. Like if I select photo, I assume that it's only going to pass a photo post and there will be no point in generating the blogs. And then I assume if I create text, well, what about the, the photos? So one thing that I tried is in the body, I tried to insert the URL and we'll check out what happens real quick. So we are going to create a title or grab the title rather from the title module. There we go. Choices, message. Oops, accidentally fat fingered that Click on content choices message content so that takes my title plugs it into the title then we're going to grab the body and here is where I'm going to attempt and yeah grab the URL of the image and then I'm going to go down to the module that generated or go up to the module that generated the actual full blog post click on content there we go state published if i want to add any tags i can add some but i'm just going to leave that alone there we go publish on html format and let's see what happens i'm going to patch that like that save it run the process and while it's running i'm going to go sign into tumblr which i haven't done in a couple of days Do -do -do. Am I still signed in? No, I can't tell. Nope. Log in. It's not that password, then it's gotta be that password. Yep. All right, let's see. It finished, so it looks like it posted successfully. All right. All right, so let me check out what it posted. Click on my blog. The Hilariously Outrageous Guide to Street Eats, bro. Yo, 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 you chillin' brohemes? All right, fam, get ready. This is definitely the dumbest street slang I've ever read in my life, but this is fun, you know? Where is my image? There it is. So it, it posted it as a URL. Unfortunately, it's looking like you're going to have to go with either or. It's going to have to be the image or the text, one or the other, but you're not going to be able to uh, 
to get it to crank out both maybe. So let's try that. Let me try to do an image post real quick and see what happens. So got URL, let's select image. Let's see what it asks for. Okay, it's asking for a link. So that'll be the URL. We'll just call it Dover's. Why not? And for the link, I'm going to grab the link from my image generation module to data URL and hit OK. Oh, and then saying upload photo uh, via external URL. Huh. Oh, so these are two different links. This is a click through URL. So maybe you can turn the photo into a link, which might be very useful for affiliate marketing, by the way, if I can just turn image, any image this generates into a clickable link and share my affiliate links right there. Huh? 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 All right, cool. So this is going to be the field that is calling for the photo that we generated. So let me save that. Give it a save. Let's fire it up again. All right, it posted. Let's check out Tumblr again. I'm going to refresh my posts, and there we go. An image with the caption, Dubers, is the tune matter? <laughs> All right, it's some kind of a punk brawl going on there. But as you can see, it took the image, uploaded my image, and had I wanted the image to be a clickable hyperlink, I bet it could be. In fact, let me try that again, making it a clickable hyper image. And notice... If I'm just going to be pushing images, then let's get rid of some of these modules. I just don't need them. I'm going to kill that. I'm going to kill that. Leave these linked. I'm going to change this. And we're going to turn that into a generate an image. Make sure these are set up the way I want. Dolly 3. Cute kitten photo realistic. Now, let's make sure the rest is right. Show advanced settings. I'm going to do standard 1024, 1024, vivid URL. Check. We are good. In Tumblr, I need to change this. Since I changed my modules around, it's now grabbing something else. So I'm going to go to data URL. There we go. Anytime you delete or change your modules, sometimes you're going to need to go in here and change those around because if you can look on the corner of the module are these little numbers, that's what it's actually uh, connected to. Not the actual module itself, but the, the place where it is. So sometimes you're going to need to go in and modify those if you delete anything. So there we go. Let's run this puppy. That'll make it go a little bit faster since it only has to generate an image for us now. There's the cute face little kitten. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and notify. And see you next time, everybody. Onward and upward.